begin by coming to the horn of the anvil at about the end of the crease. And just kind of bend it over like a hockey stick. Do that for both sides. get a really ugly distorted looking shoe. Make a convenience bend. If you are right handed, you want to have the outside branch over that branch. Give it a couple of taps to bring it together. We don't need a huge, huge overlap, but you do want a fair overlap. Hitting on either side of the shoe will force those branches together, and we do want a very tight joint. Now, I have not scarfed this at all at, at, at this point. I'm going to go back into the fire now. So when I come out of the fire, I'm just going to very abruptly step down get the inside and the outside until we have something that looks like that. Again, hit on either side. Now I've already done um, the reverse side. We want a very tight joint. Brush our shoe, get any slag that may have formed off. Tighten that joint up. And using a gas forge, we're only going to weld one side at a time and just a very little flux. And you'll find that if you put the flux on over your canister or your container of flux, you can shake the extra off. So that'll go in the forge directly under the burner. And when I come out, I'll be ready to hit it. Come out and immediately start working just the scarf with light, light hammer blows until you see the seam start disappearing. At this point, brush it on both sides. If the other sides come loose at all, set it back down. opposite side, just a little bit of flux, and back into the fire. And just light, light hammer blows. At this stage, just the edge of your shoe. And take one last heat to clean up your well. And then we'll do our final shaping. And we're going to come right over and start hitting. Accentuate. 
way to that.